Just by looking at her, you couldn't tell Trudy Elliott needs a service dog, but she doesn't go anywhere without her seven-year-old pug, Remy. And there's a good reason. Elliot has had two heart attacks and a couple of strokes. She's diabetic and has high blood pressure. He can sense that something is going on with me, and he will start barking, barking like crazy. Elliot says Remy seldom barks unless he senses she's having trouble breathing or some other health problem. She always keeps Remy on a leash and has him clearly marked with a service dog jacket and license tag. Still, she says, when she goes to a new store or restaurant, she often gets resistance from managers not used to seeing a service dog that looks like this. Everybody always expects to see like a big lab or a German Shepherd. That's not true anymore because people are training smaller dogs. <laughs> it can be a Chihuahua, it can be a Lhasa Apso, it can be a Pug, it can be a mixed breed of any kind. Service dog trainer Rick Kaplan says Elliot is doing it right by clearly marking her dog, but some people don't. And that can lead to problems. Uh, I personally can understand a business person not accepting a dog that has no markings or identification just because somebody says so. Kaplan says the Americans with Disabilities Act is weighted heavily in favor of the service dog owner. He says that can lead to some people who try to bend the rules, which doesn't help anybody. What you're really doing is damaging the real people with the real disability with the real service dog.